What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to color grade slash color correct S-Log2 footage. Now, for my example, I am personally using the Sony a6300. However, S-Log is available for all different cameras. Um, so if you're not following through on the a6300, do not be deterred by the fact that I am actually using footage from the a6300. This really can apply to any S-Log footage even vlog footage as well, anything that is obviously vlog footage. <laughs> Without further ado guys, let's get into the S-Log2 color grading tutorial. Um, overall, I've got a few presets for you. It's gonna be very simple. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so right here we have opened up Premiere Pro CC 2017 and I am really just gonna work through a couple different scenes and just show you how I color correct all of them. First off, this is gonna be super simple, don't worry. I'm gonna leave presets down below for you to download. Very, very simple. Um, pretty much just gonna work through a variety of different scenes. Now, this is all from a previous music video that I filmed um, about a week ago, precisely. Boom, we were just lighting some smoke grenades there. Let's, let, me, let me just find a bit that's actually nice with the smoke coming up and stuff. Um, boom. So this right here is, like I just said, a clip from a music video I filmed. That is a nice light clip. Then I'm gonna get a nice dark clip so we can just have a couple different versions, right? Um, to actually mess with them. Then I'm gonna get like a snowy clip. Boom. Let's have a look at this one. Snow clip, eh. Let me get this snow clip. Is this the one? Might be this one, actually. I prefer this one. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> So I'm gonna start off with this one right here. To color grade S-Log footage and actually bring this out to a whole different level. Personally, I was just messing with all the curves and stuff and there's a very simple way you can do that where you can create like the S where you just kind of do that um, and you kind of create like a little S line. That's very nice. However, you do have to watch the Lumetri uh, scopes. You can be crushing colors a lot of the time. Obviously that's brought out the red very nicely right there and uh, himself as well. However, personally, I stopped doing this when I downloaded some presets um, that I just loved and it started bringing just more life to this, to this footage, making the colors pop in a way that personally, I'm not the greatest at color grading so I could not really achieve the same effect with just messing around. So I'm gonna show that to you right now. It's two simple ones. One is for the basic color correction tab, there's the LUT, um, LUT, whatever you call it, and then one's for the creative tab. So I'm gonna go to the basic color correction, browse, and the first one you're gonna wanna put on the basic is the Sony S-Log2 V1, boom. Instantly that's gonna give a nice clean color grade right there, boom, so we could turn this off really flat, not much color to it, turn it on and instantly it's added a nice color balance to it, right? Then we go over to creative, look, browse, and go ahead and just add the F8700. I know that crushes it a little bit, you might think. That's why I like to put it on 50. Boom, so if we turn that off, you see it's a little bit more plain still, even though that was much a step up from before, right? So that's what it was before, then after the first layer, then after the second layer, it's like that. So that, that, that um, creative layer is kind of just like a more cinematic feel. So as you see right here now, that is looking like an extremely nice piece right there. And that is um, basically the end of this story, honestly. I really like trying to bring through some simple color correction tutorials or just simple tutorials of all kinds. That smoke looks really nice right there coming out. And then you can simply copy and paste this particular preset of the Lumetri color and go ahead and put that on all of your other layers. So we can go up to the car layer, go ahead and just paste that. And um, obviously for, for a nighttime shoot, I would probably be adjusting um, be adjusting this a little bit more. That's made the cars in the background, the actual light look really nice, but um, in retrospect, I should have brought through some artificial light to actually have coming onto him from the front. Um, as this right here, clearly we're gonna have to um, go into the curves and actually start bringing up the lights so that my man here is gonna be actually more visible than he currently is. Um, obviously that's the that, that, that's fault of me recording at the time and not making that brighter in the actual camera settings itself. But overall you can balance that out really nice. If we go over to the snow now, the snow is an interesting one because the snow is kind of 
even opposite to the cars where we're gonna probably have to bring the highlights down on the snow. Again, just copy and paste that layer. And yep, you can see it's far too, far too bright, too much, way overexposed. I really should have done more in the actual camera settings when recording this. However, this is a very simple fix. Just go ahead and go to your basic color correction and I'm gonna bring my highlights all the way down. Look at how much of a difference that makes. Look at how much more amplified the snowy forest is in the background when we just bring those highlights all the way down. Um, obviously, depending on your footage, you might have to do this, you might have to not. Um, that's just a really nice way to actually balance out the exposure right there. It's crazy how much more you can see the trees. Like, look, that, you can't see shit. Boom, you turn it to that, and then it's looking dope. This was a snowstorm, by the way, when we were doing this. It was going crazy. This is the most it's ever snowed in my area, period, since I've been living here. Uh, absolutely crazy. All right, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Hope this helped out. If it did, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff down below. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.